Um, we've got to find it first. There's stuff up there that I can't get, unfortunately. Now there is something that I have neglected to talk about for a while. I don't know if I... Actually, you know what? No, I, I'll, I'll leave it for the next uh, session, because it is like... We're almost done here, and I feel like it's too big of a topic to really just gloss over. Um, but well, there is one big topic that I wanted to say for um, at least until we reached like the midway point. Yeah, I, I, we just played that stage trip. We don't need, <laughs> need to worry about that. Wait, where is that free? Is it this? Oh yeah, it's this. God, it's so weird how like some of the act threes are like in lower parts of the map. Like I don't get it. Or like one, some of the or like not lower parts. Like the Spaghetti one is in a lower part than Act Three, but I mean, in the sense that the some of the Act Threes feel closer than they should be. I don't know. Like I feel like these acts should have been like swapped around. Like I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It doesn't really matter matter that much, but it's something I've noticed. There's something you. This is the kind of stage where you kind of need to break your muscle memory um, and not boost uh, like crazy. I know oh, we missed that medal, but oh, whatever. Uh, especially since you have the air boost now, and like I said, it's very easy to just fly off the stage with it. So for this stage in particular. You're better off just not using the boost in general. Like, it, it just won't do you any good here. So just jump around like normal and you'll be fine. And then it's at the end and... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> really short stage. Not very difficult at all. But we did get a C, so that kind of stunk. <laughs> yeah, either way though. And we aren't supposed to really do these, uh, like some of these stages now, because like it's clear that they want want us to have the light speed dash. But hey, it's um, doable enough for us to get through. And I, I'm fairly certain that we can't get the um, other medals here because we need the light speed dash for that as well. So I'm actually just gonna leave and. Um, yeah, I, yeah. When we get the light speed dash, we'll worry about that later. If, if we care enough, because <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I'm actually going to talk to some of the townsfolk now, um, just to see if uh, some of the day missions actually are actually active now. Yeah, I don't know what you said, but okay. missions I don't care to do. Oh. And you, you were trying to figure out what your out is doing. Oops. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's not have a, a lease situation, please. Okay, so is everyone just good? <laughs> Walk into furniture and they just break. I think, yeah, I think everyone's just saying, like, going back to the professor. Um, so I guess we can't do any time missions now. I, I, again, I wish it was more clear when that, when they become active, but they just aren't. Okay, so talk to the professor, 
Um, and then I'll go to the boss portal, and then I'll just go to the HD. This is HD. Th then we'll go to the Wii. God, this is so confusing. <laughs> All right. All right. Where are you going? Okay. Does anyone here have game missions? Oh, is that? Okay, that's not a space stage. Oh, I think you have missions, don't you? Uh, no? Guess not. God, I'm so confused. Yeah, whatever. What about you? Oh. Okay, now this is a... Okay. Now this is a, a Tao mission. Um, so, if, you, if you've if seen... Um, what do you call it? Night of the Werehog. Um, these are... Uh, the, the, go the two ghosts here are from that little, like, CG short. It's a really, it's a really good cartoon. I recommend watching it if you haven't before. It's, it was basically made as, made to um, promote this game, um, and I'd say it succeeded at that. It's very, very fun, uh, like silent short. And I didn't get the like, the other one. Right, try that again. You can even see that medal. Well, there you are. And I missed. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't know you could die there. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's try this again. I actually get the ghost this time. Now, what are these hitboxes? Like, this ain't an insane trilogy, come on, man. <laughs> cool. There we go. Cool. Do, 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 do. And... Nice. I think that you do see the ghosts in other town missions as well, so they, that's not the end of them. How's Amy doing? D Alright, so I'm assuming the professor's just like, oh, go to the boss, and then that'll be it. <coughs> nope. Oh. That was a worthwhile use of time. I don't know if I needed to do that, but I thought I might as well just to be safe. But yeah, that's really pointless. Alright, so I... Bleh. So what I'm gonna do... I'll just load in here. And, um... I'm just gonna, um... Cut to the Wii, because... The, um, bus... Er the, the bus entrance is just, like, behind a gate near the start of this, and... Yeah, it's 
Yep. <laughs> okay, so now we have to <laughs> talk to the professor here because... <sighs> of course. Yeah, I have nothing to say about this. <laughs> He's just... there. Get to the shrine and just get to the boss. These are glowing, so we you know, just, let's just fight the boss. Yeah, yeah. not much, not much else to add. <laughs> okay, so we have the egg devil right here. Um, and this is one of the more tricky fights in the Wii version. Um, especially since this is um, the only time, I think, I want to say, where you can't actually just boost into him endlessly. Um, and because of that, it arguably takes longer to be in this version than it does in the HD one. Um, because you have to wait for him to become vulnerable. And um, I mean, you can't just boost into him like you do, you could with the egg beetle and just wiggle down his health like crazy just immediately. So yeah, this this one's a little bit more tricky. There's more stuff to avoid, um, and you, it kind of it ta also just takes a lot longer to beat. Um, so yeah, this is a I'd say this is a pretty good challenge for. Um, the third main boss of the game, I want to say. Is this because like, this is the this is the third uh, guy guy temple? So I suppose so. Um, yeah. 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 This is yeah. This would be the third main boss then. Um, like I I don't know if you want to count like the times of the guy the big guys in some of the actual stages, but I guess that's. I guess it's more like a mini boss, so different kind of worms. Yeah, sometimes it'll go into this um, uh, overhead view and give you some more like pellet bullets to avoid and whatnot. Um, it's fairly like now that I'm looking about looking at it here, it's fairly tame in this version. Like this is still, I'd say, a decent jump up in difficulty for the bosses, but it, it's definitely, as, it, as I mentioned before, this is definitely one of the easier games in the series, I want to say, um, and it's, com like, comparing this to the HD counter counterpart, there's a lot less stuff going on, and less things trying to kill you, um, and I, I don't know, it's kind of interesting how that works. Um, either way though, I do think this is a really good midway boss. Um, it's hard, hard enough for this point in the game for both versions, um, and it makes you think on your feet and you can't just blindly blast ahead. Even if it is surprisingly simple here. <laughs> like, I, I used to, like, on my first playthrough, I remember sucking at this fight, but, yeah, in hindsight, it's not too bad, you just gotta be careful, like, not just be an idiot, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, though, there's really not much to say about it. I like the design of it, though. Uh, it's sort of like a, like a fish thing. <laughs> And that's all she wrote, so yeah, see you guys on the HD version of that boss. Actually no, um, I'm actually going to do a weird edit here.
Alright. And now we have the HD counterpart of this boss. And it's a little bit it's quite a bit different actually, because um for starters, you don't actually hear Eggman's voice. Like it's just a bunch of robots piloting the Merc. Um and there's like there's actually three um levels of attack. Like if you like it starts off at level one, I believe. And then after you damage damage the machine and after it goes to level two, then level then to level three. And with the Wii version it just goes right to level three. Um but Yeah, in this one there's quite a bit more there's quite a few more attacks going on to keep you on your toes. This is much more interesting in in my honest opinion, like um there's more things to walk, look, look out for, and um, more challenging of a fight overall. Um, like, it gets like into a mini bullet hell sometimes, like when it get, is, gets into this. Like, it does the same, like, avoid the pellets, like in the Wii one, but it's a lot more difficult to avoid them here. Um, so, you know, this is... And you at that electric shield as well, like, you can boost into this guy, but you have to be wary about its electric shield. So you need to be careful of where you're boosting. Yeah, now it's like I say, it's going to combat level, combat mode level two. So now he's getting a few more attacks, and then um, just boost into him. Yeah, yeah, like that. I'm being a bit reckless there, but when he like does that, you have to be careful. Now oh, what are you gonna do? I would like to get some more in the medals, but yeah, so this is a really good boss. I, I I'd say, like it's it's making use of the your abilities. Like you have to slide under some of these and jump over others. Um, and it's there's nothing inherently unfair. It's just a really well designed boss. Like <laughs> Toho Light over here. <laughs> you probably could redesign this boss and just put it in a Toho fan game, to be honest. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. This is kind of like a light bullet hell in a lot of ways. I do. Okay, I, I wanna. I wanna. Um. Keep him alive for a little bit longer because I do want to see if I can. But this is really cool actually, like having to slide under that, like some of them, and jump over. Like, I, I don't know, like, these, this is just a really good boss. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, let's just take him out. I don't know where the other medals are. Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because I messed around too much at the end. Cool. And we, with that, we restore the. F Third continent. We're getting there. Still got quite a lot of the game left, but we're getting there. <laughs> it's definitely um because I'm doing both versions, it's um making the game like to be like twice as long, obviously, but if you just put one of the versions into account, into account um, I'd personally say that Unleashed is about the length I want from a Sonic game, like on average. Like I'd, I'd say Unleashed strikes that like good balance between not being too long and not being too short. It's just right in the middle. And if you want to get more bang for your buck, there's so much more side content to do that um, it will keep you busy for a while in both versions like I've said so I, 
I I'd say the Unleashed is pretty much like the the standard for when it comes to like what I want from like just general length in a Sonic game. Um, but, hey, that's just how I feel. Hooray! And um, let's talk to Professor because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he's just gonna be like. Hanoska has a temple, go there, and all that. Like, it's nothing too groundbreaking. Yeah. And that's it. Um, so yeah, I... I, t uh, I, I feel like I should just stop here. I might... I was contemplating uh, going around hubs and seeing if there's any town missions available, but I, I, I honestly I think it's better. Oh hi, how you doing? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I feel like it's it's possibly in my better interest to just do town missions near the end of the game. Because at that point they should all be available. Um, but yeah. D uh. Oh, Amy, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't know you were here. Let's, uh, let, yeah, sure. Let's let's um uh end with um a quiz. Why not? Sure. Tongue lash. I mean, there's eight in Sonic the Fighters. Does that count? <laughs> uh, blue, right? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> should have known that because I just saw it, but hey. Yeah, I don't know what that accom what these accomplish per se, but I enjoy some good quizzes, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, because I I've already recorded it, I'm going to cut back to the Wii so you see the couple Gaia Gate doors I opened up. And then when we come back, we'll go to... Haloska Knight um, for the night the, the night stages there. Oh hi, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh hey, I didn't see that guy there. That's cool. I like how this. Yeah, I, I love these hub worlds because they feel like they they make the world feel more like it's an actual place. Um, especially when you have all these other NPCs just in the background that you just can't get to or talk to, and it. It makes it more feel a bit more real than just having the people you talk to, and then that's it. So I I, I appreciate that. Um, it's made the Sonic World feel more real than any other game in the series, honestly. Um, but, uh, Adventure One comes close, but not quite to the same level, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that yeah, I'm just gonna cut here, so. Um, oh hey, 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 <laughs> seeing Apatis guy. I do like that, I, I keep getting sidetracked, I'm sorry, but one thing, one other thing I like about this game is that some, as you saw in the Chunan as well, uh, you had some Missouri guys visiting and whatnot, and you have some Apatis, like this Apatis guy visiting Spagonia. I like how it makes it more like a breathing world that changes over time, because um, you have NPCs go from one up to another, and um, like I don't know, I just find that really cool. But <laughs> enough, enough of getting sidetracked. Um, see, see you guys for the stuff in the Wii, and then for the next session we'll go to Haloska Night. So goodbye for now. Okay, so that's.
Okay, so, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be some weird editing going on here because I'm probably gonna, like, you, like, by the time you see this part in the video, I probably already did the HD Egg Devil Ray fight. Um, but, yeah, th this is being recorded before I do that, so it's gonna be a weird, bit weird of going back and forth here. But I decided I may as well just, like, go through the remaining. Guy gate doors that I can, and like before we wrap up here, like just may as well. Um, and, yeah. And um, not that you could, could tell, but this is this has actually been recorded a couple weeks after the last one when I went through True Night, right? So this. Hasn't been been as long as a gap as the last sessions, and hopefully I can keep it that way. <laughs> because seriously, like, seriously, like I, I really shouldn't be spending like that much time away from recording this. Like I need to get this done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to be more consistent from now on. Hopefully that, hopefully I can um, keep that up. Um, but either way. That's, Abadol's done, so as always I'll go through the other areas and I'll uh, cut to either when we see another one or it'll just <laughs> kind of abruptly stop. Okay, there is actually one more. Okay, so that wasn't a waste of time. Uh, we still got some places we can, or some items we can get. Let's see you. See what's over here. Oh, there's an enemy up there. That's different. Huh. Okay, so we've got a platform. I guess we need to activate that. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't found any like uh, keys yet. Well, we found we found one like way back when, but we haven't found one in a while. This is kind of Interesting. Soundtrack. That was my try hitting you with the regular sonic. I just can't. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what to do with this actually. So I grab you and I mess it up completely because I'm an idiot. <laughs> right, can I like Nope. God damn it. Okay, let's try that again. I wonder if I can like just jump. Yeah, cool. Nice. Alright, so drop down first. Damn it. Okay. Again. Because I need that bomb to blow up that door. That's what I need to do. Can we not fail. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Now that activates that. Oh, it makes platforms appear apparently. And also makes this one move. And we get a life. Coolio. It's still really weird how the light life life system works in this version. It's like the only Sonic game I know that does this. It's kinda of weird. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so... Oh, wait, oh, oh, I'm pretty sure that was just... I'm pretty sure that was, um... Grey... Greyed out, so I... Can, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can do anything else. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for now, so... Yeah, next time we'll go to the Professor, and I assume... Next time is we... Next time we play, we'll have to go through Holoska Night. So, see you guys then.